I would be interested in Will's interpretation of the energetic shift which will occur on the 23rd. Well, the shift's taking place on the 23rd. I just wanted to be clear with everyone. I, I hope you're having a blast because the 23rd, we are screwed. <laughs> um, no, 23rd this month. Did you get your affairs in order? Because if you hand me your credit cards, I will take care of it for you. <laughs> okay, what's happening on the 23rd from the universe and the multiverse? From this beautiful planetary matrix of Gaia, which is feeling kind of purple tonight, because you notice I've always drawn it in purple this evening, and the pin is still doing a great job being a pin, because this is the brother pin. It, <laughs> it actually came from another country, for that matter. Well, from the universalist states here, beyond just the solar system belts, we have a total universalist state of cones of universes within universes. Then we have the multi-universes that are imploding and unfolding upon themselves. So, when I go through the multi-universe, beyond just the universe, let me change colors here. This is the sister pin, all right? <laughs> the shifts that are playing out, the ramifications of it, is that they were going orange. Yeah, why don't you do brown, too? All right. This one is coming into an implode. This one right here is going into an expandedness. Uh, it's a little bit too close in colors. All right. Okay. This one right here is coming to an exponential state, universalistness state. This one right here from the multi multi-universe is coming in. So we have an out-picturing state and an in-picturing state. We have an influx and an outflow. Now with the ramifications of it, even playing with the magnitudes and the magnetics of this whole solar system state in itself, all of this that has been locked in magnetically is also going through a total complete re-rotational belt of consciousness. And if you notice, I'm changing the magnetics counterclockwise because all of these magnetics are switching around with the implosion and the expanse of this not for a big hurrah and all of that like you know the big bangs and all that but you're going to notice a very big shift globally you're going to notice more importantly a big shift personally because even where your physical planes are concerned, like we were playing with this, your brother, earlier about the telomeres, which was a question he was asking on the break, about reversing the aging processes, the DNA, the cellular vibratory levels, and beyond just the vibratory levels of the physical, and beyond just the marriage at the higher and the lower, beyond just what's going on for yourself and what's going on within the physical DNA, your universalist DNA, and your quantum consciousness. What's going on here even here on this planetary matrix and even for oneself, you're going to be feeling such a beautiful array and somewhat, at times, a little bit disoriented and ungrounded, not because you're not, not because you're ungrounded, but because there's a beautiful wave going on so brilliantly and vibrantly within the DNA strands, because even on with this influx and outflux of consciousness, and I'm using consciousness beyond energy because they're two totally different things, the telomere are going through a beautiful activation through the end caps, the absence of genetic streams of consciousness. Even a beautiful influx within the crystalline matrix of this whole planetary matrix, which is also taking everything here that's been known for Brother Humanity as normalcy, political, religion, perceptual belief systems, everything that's been called normalcy that has been very, very asleep, very, very repetitive routines, okay? They're also being what used to be this way. Now, they're going the opposite, or actually it's the opposite, because it's going counterclockwise rather than just simply the way that it has been. Does that mean clocks are going to turn around, yada, yada? Well, no, let's, you know, let's not get out there with it. But the magnetic levels and the repolarizational levels from the planetary states and also for your state, physicality, the repolarizational state for the physicality, the magnetic levels, the magnetic restabilization for the physical with the outflux and the influx in one, 
in the multiverses that are coming in, in the universes that are opening up and expanding out. You have star systems expanding out, you have influxes of creator consciousness coming in, and that's the multiverse. But you also have the re-wrapping up of a polarizational state that at one time was like that, just now changing its patterning and then stabilizing and getting rid of the constant flow of consciousness that at one time magnetically held it into a solidified form. Now the forms are becoming more scattered particles. Scattered particles are realigning themselves in such a brilliant state that's no longer a locked in to an underlying state of perceptional belief systems, identificational states, ritualizational states, religions, culture, colors, and creeds, but also the barriers of consciousness are also breaking down. And as of the 23rd of this month, which is a wonderful marker, it's going to go through such a huge jolt that's going to start cracking it apart that much faster.